Welcome back, my duelist friends. Casual duelist here. It is Friday, so happy Friday, my friends. Almost the weekend. And uh, yesterday, I did a like a tier two uh, ban list abiding Flame Swordsman deck profile. And hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Because again, I'm I'm sort of taping this the same day I taped that, so I'm not gonna know until literally uh, when I look at it that morning. So. Um, today's build, very similar, but we decided to go ahead and take the limitations off. We're going to play a casual version of it, not con not concerned with the ban list. Guys, if that is not your cup of tea, if you only want decks that follow the ban list, make sure that you only watch the ones that say Tier 2 in the title. Please do not be upset. This was the warning. This is the disclaimer. Um, if you're still here after this, and uh, you decide that uh, you didn't enjoy it because of that. Well, I'm sorry, but uh, I didn't force you to watch the video. So that said, let's go ahead. Let's give it to the people who want it. So again, we will be using our Christine Skill Fusion Party. Still got my outdated old school one that does not have the uh, the errated cost text. Essentially, though, you want to activate this during the main phase. Once per duel, you discard a card, and then you can fusion summon one fusion monster from the extra deck using cards from hand and field as material. Essentially, the card you're discarding is going to be treated as polymerization. Um, so again, that's that's all that errata was. Because again, I mean, if you could just flip it and the skill itself was polymerization, that could get like let you have like four fusions without having the drawback of fusion gate. Um, so monster lineup. Monster lineup did not change. Since we are still going to be using fusion substitutions, we chose Masaki because he is searchable. And also, I'd like not that it's important, but he, I, he's like 200 points stronger than Flame Manipulator. Uh, we're also going to be running full play sets of both Goddess of the Third Eye and Versago since they are all fusion substitutions. These characters may be used with Masaki in order to create the Flame Swordsman. And again, since there's so many of them, cool. Use the fusion party to discard the extra copies to go ahead and get into your fusions. Now, once we get to the spell traps, I think you guys are gonna to start to see why I said this has to be casual. And uh, it does give him the best, and by him I mean Flame Swordsman, the best chances at survival and winning the match. So, three Books of Moon, again, normally limited to three, uh, or limited on the three copies section of the list. Um, normally this would be all that you're allowed, but again, it's in a very nice spot control. Uh, big monsters jump up, they get put face down, um, and it's usually enough of an off-balance for things like Flame Swordsmen to go ahead and take those cards out afterward. Um, additionally, we took out our Night Beam, and we just went Double Cosmic Cyclone. Again, this is going to help us, because number one, these five right here are all quick play. So we can set them and forget them until it's our opponent's turn, and then use them then. Additionally, uh, especially the Cosmic Cyclone, uh, the one cool thing about the timing of traps, we're going to go ahead, we're going to look at the opponent, um, we're going to set that, we're going to end our turn, they're going to set a card, and when they go to end their turn during the end phase, we have timing to flip this, they do not have timing to activate because it's still the turn they set the card. So it does help us eliminate threats before they are threats. So this is, a, this is part of the reason why I said like I always liked Cosmic Cyclone better than Night Beam, but looking at the way that the meta has progressed, I like one in one, but when I get the choice... I'm just going to go ahead and run two Cosmic Cyclones. Up next, we've gone ahead. We've added Polymerization to the main portion of the deck as well. Uh, we did drop the Fusion Weapons because, again, do you need two Fusion Weapons when you have the power of Book of Moon on your side? Not sure, but we'll find out. And then the last spell that we're going to be using, one Reinforcement of the Army. Um, I would have added a second, um, except in hindsight, when I was going back over this, I, I did take out my, uh, what the heck was it called? I'm, I'm going to look through this stack of cards here real quick. Give me just two seconds. Rising Energy. And uh, because I'm no longer running Rising Energy in the deck or the side, I do not have the luxury of just being able to discard cards outside of the Fusion Party skill. Um, and so to have more than one reinforcement of the army and just go that far into the whole Flame Swordsman, for me, it was easier to just add a second polymerize or add polymerization into the deck and have two effects for it. Um, just in the long run, it just worked out better. Um, so yeah, we, we did end up with just the one reinforcement.
Next up, two copies Waking the Dragon. Again, same strategy as before. When this gets destroyed, when this gets banished, and it's either in the Remove from Play or the Graveyard, we can go ahead and Special Summon Flame Swordsman or any other card out of our extra deck, uh, which makes it good. And what replaced the Rising Energies? Walls of Disruption, of course. Because again, this is going to allow Versago, Goddess, and Masaki to stand their ground as well without the Flame Swordsman having touched down. So just real quick, this is the main deck, screenshot and or pause plus notes, and I'll be right back with the rest. Just one moment. All right, and starting with the extra deck again, still going to be rocking the three Flame Swordsmen because again, it is very important to me. Still making the same choices with Blue Eyes, Ujama King, and Thousand Eyes Restrict. Again, power, lockout, and total like oppression of the opponent's side of the field. All very good. The rest of my changes are in the side deck. So we still run one Dahlgren for the obvious reasons. We still run our hammer shot because it's super good. Um, we did keep one of our polymerizations in here as well because there may be a reason to go full tilt. And again, you could always remove other cards. Again, you could go down to two books of moon um, in order to add another polymerization or to add the hammer shot, whatever you like. Um, and then I went singles on everything here. So... I do have one Floodgate Trap Hole just because it is really nice. Uh, one Mind Crush because, again, it's a 20-card deck. You're still going to see these types of cards relatively quickly. Um, but you didn't, I don't feel like with like all the non-ban uh, list following, I felt like we could get away with just a single. And then, of course, I threw a third Wall of Disruption in here just because there's nothing like running into that too many times. So, guys... I know, I know, you're not going to be able to like really take this one down to locals or to the regionals or anything. But again, it's fun. It's casual. That's what the whole name of the channel is. It's the whole name of the game here. Um, I just want people to have fun with this game. And uh, so there's that. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you have, consider supporting the channel. Like, comment, subscribe. If you guys want to help us buy more sleeves and stuff, the Buy Me A Coffee link is down below. Um... I don't know, let your friends know. Uh, if you guys are into D&D, &D, I'm going to have a uh, Yugi D&D &D tomorrow. Uh, we've got a figure that should be dry by now. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get that filmed up for you. And hopefully you guys enjoy it. So till then, you guys have a wonderful day, okay? Not just a good day, a wonderful day. Go out, do the things, enjoy it. Go for a nice little walk, hit the gym, something good, something fun. And... Uh, just try to have a good one, okay? Can't ask for more than that, but if you don't do the minimum, you, nobody's going to make you. I mean, I don't know. So for now, my friends, see you later.